Hey guys, so that was box number one. Uh, the other good thing about the box is at $10 for one of these boxes, it's pretty much at bulk prices. It's a little more than bulk, but if you want to have a good time and you want to try something new, then this is kind of a way to do it. So this set is going to be from, and this box was OP because they just played abduction, Weatherlight, and it is chunks of what Ab abductions in case you need to be abducted and it's every single uncommon from weatherlight that is not pricey is in the set ancestral knowledge probably want to flip it this way and yeah it was a lot of fun uh, whoever got this box i think it was kobe got the box and then he just won this card is very good now two double Blue, return target artifact from the graveyard into play. Obviously you can see EDH utility for it and the dude, the dude has this much of it. Like, I don't know how many packs he opened, but it's a lot. And most of these are organized in a good way, in a way that is alphabetical and by color. So that's really cool. Flying, always really fun. And this whole box costs $10. You'd never know what you get Cloud Gin and Cloud Gin 1, 2, like 200. Ooh, what is this? There's not that many copies of this card. Is this a rare? Ooh, yes, it is. <laughs> it is a rare from this set, I remember. All right, this is definitely common. And, that, and these are all near mint. Imagine like having some, oh, Noble Benefactor is pretty cool. If it's put into a graveyard from play, each player may search his or her library for any card and put that card into his or her hand. Each player who searches his or her library shuffles this afterwards. So you want, you know, you want some of these? And I'm still looking for the box of Norwales. Imagine how many Norwales are in these boxes. Phantom Warrior, which has had a downgrade. Imagine how many Norwales could possibly be in these boxes. Relearn, which is okay, it's not the best. As you can see, it's the dude had a card game store and it was one of the biggest stores in Houston. I was talking to him and then, you know, he had some medical issues so he had to give up his store, but he kept all the inventory to feed. Wow, this is, what does this do? Whenever a creature you control attacks, it phases out at the end of combat. So in case you want, oh wow, what's this stack here? Timid Drake. If another creature comes into play, return Timid Drake to its owner's hand. <laughs> you know, do you want a couple? And this is blue. This is blue only for Wetterlight. So imagine hitting, what's in Wetterlight? What's one of the most, imagine hitting artifacts in Wetterlight. Tolarian Serpent. During your upkeep, put the top seven cards of your library into your graveyard. That's pretty OP. Seven cards into, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty awesome. Uh, Illusionist, a uh, target creature phases out. Looks like that was a more popular blue card. We only have two copies of this card, so it might be good. Abaroth, huh, okay. We are now in green. Arctic Wolves. Just making, like, just having these cards with the old artwork, so hard to find old cards for a good price, and this is the one vendor that does it. And I actually will probably buy 25 more of these boxes for him. It's only $10 a box, and you never know what you're getting in the box. Like, what, what, what is this even? Uh, if it's put in your graveyard from play, remove it from the game, and then shuffle all creature cards from your graveyard to your library. So is this worth like $10 when you consider it's like two boost packs? Downdraft? <laughs> Downdraft. Uh, that's a cool card. Yes, it absolutely, to me, is worth it. Uh, the, the issue here is you, you are taking a chance because some boxes are not full. So you could be buying, oh wow, this card. Um, you could be buying a box that doesn't have anything in it. And that's one, that's one of the risks that you have. Familiar ground, each creature you control cannot be blocked by more than one creature. And a stack of them. So let's see, can we pull, can we end with anything really good? Fungus Elemental. So obviously all the really good cards are probably pulled out and this is just his bulk. But even his bulk is not bad. 
Behemoth. This card used to be uncommon. And it was reprinted as uncommon somewhere. I'm trying to figure out the pile. Okay, I'm just going to grab this pile here. Oh, Nature's Resurgence. This is a very good card in Limited. A place of those. Sylveon something something. Wow, this is a lot of Sylveons. And Ch Tranquil Grove. Pretty cool. So anyway, that is box number two. Bye, guys.